Hi there guys, it's Pip here from pipweekly.com. Hope you're doing really, really well and hope you had a great Christmas. So it's great to see you at this side of the new year. So we're not quite uh, at new year yet, um, but it's coming really, really soon. So I'm really, really excited to, for that and I hope you are too. Um, I just wanted to talk to you today about facing your fear. Um, so at the minute I'm filming this and I have long hair as you can see. And um, I've had kind of hair's length all my life. Uh, when I was little, it was always cut into a bob. Um, and <laughs> I remember I used to, um, you know, sort of whine when my mum would, uh, you know, kind of put the comb through my hair at the knots and things like that. And when I was about uh, about eight, uh, I had it cut short, and I hated it. As soon as it was done, I hated it. Um, I thought I looked like a boy. Um, I didn't wear glasses at the time. Um, I, looking back at the photos, it's not that bad, but I thought I looked like a boy. Um, it didn't feel right, um, and I really, really hated it. Um, but what I'm going to do is um, I'm having my hair cut. So, uh, and you might be thinking, well, big deal, what's that all about? Well, as I say, today's video is about facing your fears. I am absolutely, if I'm totally honest with you, petrified of going to the hairdressers um, and you might think well that's a really weird thing to be scared of um, it is um, it's an irrational fear I mean I'm not you know it's not going to be a life or death situation I'm not frightened that you know the hairdresser is going to pick up some scissors and run me through with them or you know uh, do a sweetie tart and slit my throat or anything bizarre like that you know I don't have these visions of terrible things happening or um, but I am absolutely petrified why I think it's because it's a place where I'm not comfortable. Um, I'm obviously, you know, you can see how I'm dressed. I'm not one for massively, um, you know, looking fab and fancy all the time. I wear quite casual stuff. I don't like to stand out from the crowd. Part of that comes from being quite introverted. Um, I don't like people saying I look nice. Um, I find it quite awkward. I don't know what to say. Um, I don't like people looking at me. Um, I don't like people noticing me. It makes me feel very, very awkward. Um, so having my hair cut short again, and probably especially after that experience where I didn't, you know, I, I just hated it the minute it was done, um, is really a very big challenge for me. Um, I know it's an ir irrational fear. Um, I know I want to do more videos like this next year. Um, I do want to improve my appearance because of that. You know, I'm, I'm going to be 27 next year. I really have to up my game. Um, you know, I. And at the minute I'm not ready, I don't feel ready in myself to do that, you know, it's Christmas time, it's been an expensive month, I've got other things going out, January is going to be, you know, it's not always a great month uh, finance wise, uh, it usually hits most of us quite bad. Um, but I think when I get to New Year's Day and I look back on what I have achieved, I do want to be able to say to myself, I'm proud of what I did in 2018 and 2018 has been a very um, interesting year for me, it's a year I started my own business, um, I started doing videos like this, um, blogs on my website pipweekly.com, trying to add value to the world, trying to help people who've, who've gone through what I've gone through, you know, anxiety and not feeling like you're where you ought to be in life but not knowing how to get there, feeling stuck, feeling trapped, feeling down on yourself, feeling like you, you just don't know where to start and just knowing that you can do more but just, just feeling like you're hitting dead ends everywhere you go. The more people you're around the more isolated you feel. Um, and you know obviously on Facebook and Instagram as well. Um, again just pick weekly or pick weekly com. So um, yeah it's been a, a, an interesting year, certainly a learning curve. Um, still got a lot more to do. Um, so yeah, it's going to be great, uh, but I do want to look back on my year and say, do you know what? I have started to conquer my fears, I have to grow into this, and I think honestly, when I've gone to the hairdresser, when I come out, I'll be like, you know, that was crazy, what did it, I mean, it's not difficult, I just have to go in and sit in the chair, they do all the work for me, um, you know, it's probably less frightening than doing a box job myself. Um, you know, when it's long, I tend to cut it myself, but it's it's quite thick, as you can see, it's quite wavy. Um, I don't like it, it kind of poofs out in the wind, because um, I do work outdoors, so that does happen a lot. Uh, so quite often I have a hat jammed on my head, 
because um, uh, it's cold as well. Um, but um, yeah, so I, I, the reason I'm really shooting this video is I want to just get you to think about maybe just one thing in 20, 2018 or even before that. I mean, I've been frightened of going to the hairdresser for years, quite frankly. Um, you know, what is it that maybe, you know, you look at back on and you go, I've been sweating this out. You, you know, how, how much power does this really have? And, you know, as Les Brown says, am I the one feeding it the power? Am I feeding this fear the power? Because fear feeds on fear. And, it, you know, as I say, I know my fear is irrational. There is, you know, nothing scary that's going to happen in the head. It's the worst thing that happens is it goes slightly wrong. It's not how I like it. You know what? Hair grows. You know, and if it doesn't, well, so what? You know, the worst problem is your hair looks a bit untidy. You haven't really got any problems. So um, that's all from me. Uh, I just did want to shoot this video to hopefully inspire you. It's going to be my year. It really should be yours as well. But you have to make some big changes, and I really hope that um, if you're feeling like me, your heart's going, and uh, you know, you maybe your palms are feeling sweaty, you're feeling anxious, you really, really don't want to do something go out and do it, do you know what, um, you'll feel so relieved and so proud of yourself that you've done that, um, so, you know, I, I know we haven't got long left uh, before the new year starts, but even if you say to yourself, right, first week of January, second week of January, I'm going to conquer that fear, I'm going to conquer that fear, and uh, just have a think about it, and, and really, one way of figuring out why you're so scared of it is, is write down why seven times. Okay, I'm scared of it. Why? Because it, something bad happened when I was young. Okay, what was the thing that happened? Why did that make you feel scared? Just do that seven times and then you'll, you should figure out that whatever it is, is not as bad as you think it is and that's really helped me. So that's all from me. Have a great day and I'll see you tomorrow. Take care now. Bye.